What's this gonna be? It's going to be the site where the third finals match. All right, by now you know that each stage has its own attendant. Ask them for the descriptions of the stage. I don't think you really need to explain that. And we shall be having a look at this. Yes. And, okay, so I see what I have to do here. Um, I'm going to be wanting to have Mia freeze that and push that thing up. Okay. Yes, you, don't, you, you can stop pointing. I'm going to have uh, Mia... And, all right, so stage number two over here, what's this look like? Yes, I would like a description of the stage, and all right, stone stage. All right, I see what I have to do there, too. Yeah, that's um, jumping around. However, I could uh, probably create a shortcut with uh, this guy and uh, the move synergy and stuff. So stage number three... What's this going to be? Yes, I would like a description, of course. I don't see any synergy areas there. That reminds me of one of the galaxies from Super Mario Galaxy, where there, there were the uh, the things that would push you off the level and kill you and stuff. But <clears throat> no, I don't want anyone to cheer for me there. Let's see. Yes, I don't want anyone cheering for me. I want to run on my own. So, last one. What's this going to look like? Okay. Uh, climb. So... I don't see, I don't know, once again, I don't know if there, if that, uh, vine is close enough to the fence to, for, uh, me to mess with it, with, uh, what's-his-face. So, I might be wasting a couple seconds there on the vine just because. So that's that. Uh, wait, is there another stage down here? There's another stage down here. I did not even look at that. Yes, yeah, so let's have a description of the stage. Um, yes, moving sidewalk. Conveyor belt moves opposite the direction that you need to go. Yay, fun. Why? <laughs> Alright, race again to, to get to the next stage. Alright, so that's that. Um, anything else here? Oh yes, the, there's one more stage in each area in uh, each round. So, let's see. Rog log rolling, because log rolling puzzles are fun. Where, how do I get to that treasure chest? I don't see how I get to the treasure chest, but I'll figure it out. Um, I do value um, getting the items over getting to the finish first. Although, we'll see. Maybe the the guy uh, who's running against me will have as much trouble as I will. Anyway, let's go. Yes, I got a good look around. Let's get into position, everyone. Alright, lend a hand. I am going to want to move this... Um, over this way, so that I can form a nice quick bridge, and, uh, it's about to start. And can I cast Growth? No, it doesn't look like I can cast Growth. Alright, yeah, that limited range of synergy. Not fun, alright, so that's it for me here. Yes, I'm done cheering. Uh, Mia, freezing stuff. I'm to be coming over here, and casting Frost on this. So once again, a nice quick path between point A and point B. And all right, that's all the setup. Third match. All right. So uh, three, two, one, and let's go. No, 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 no. Don't waste time, don't waste time, don't waste time. I don't like wasting time. So you come over here as I check the chest, and that is another smoke bomb, so I guess that's more free delusion. Although I have a gin that does that same thing, so well, it's fantastically important. Um, let's see. Alright, carefully. Carefully, I don't want to get pushed off at the last moment. Go! Alright, so that's that, we're gonna move this aside. Uh, come in here, get this item, whatever that happens to be. That's another nut, so that's some HP. Can never hurt. Uh, we are going to cast Growth on this thing. I don't have Growth. Perfect, I don't have Growth. Maybe, I don't know, I wonder if there's another way I could have arranged my gin so that I have Growth, but... Whatever. The Jupiter, the Jupiter has actually been doing pretty well for me since they seem to be super effective against, um, against my opponents. Anyway, run, 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 run. And let's move all this out of the way. Okay, so I see the ladder that'll let me get the, uh, the thing. The treasure chest, that's it. So we're going to be moving that real quickly, and I'm going to want to push this aside anyway. Uh, move, 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 move. Alright, it looks like I'm going to lose that race too. Unless you have to do something else, but... 
No, no, I did not mean to open my inventory. I think I think they time pauses when I open my inventory though, so it's not that big a deal, but uh, come on. Yep, I lost. Oh well, all that rush for nothing, but it was fun. Um, I had the disadvantage last time and I won anyway, so let's see how this works. I have a sword. That's a hunter sword. Alright. So bring it. Let's see, Navampa appeared, alright, so I can deal with that. Once again, I'll be veiling your vision in smoke, and hopefully you'll miss a couple times. 115 damage. Delusion, both ways, except I didn't get wrapped in delusion because apparently my luck rating is high enough and I didn't, uh... Not gonna be doing that. So, 34 damage and you're defending. And... Uh, agility. Because I'm, I'm just freeing a gym right here. And I'm, my agility is rising by a lot, and I mi and you missed. That's really good. And gust. Let's see, that's a 99 damage. You attacked, you missed again. Going to be summoning the God of Thunder once again, come on. Yes, Thor, hit him with your big hammer. Remembering uh, the Avengers and all. Thor and his hammer and fighting with uh, what's-his-face, Iron Man. Anyway, that didn't do as much damage as it did last time. You're defending again. Stop defending. That would explain why it didn't do as much damage. But crying out loud, Astro Blast. All right, you missed again. How many times are you going to miss? You see clearly once again. Astro Blast, once again. Alright, so I'm hitting you with stars. You're attacking me. You finally inflicted damage on me. My agility returns to normal. Alright, Astral Blast. We're just gonna keep spamming this until you go down, or I go down, or whatever. You using not fun. Alright, Zephyr is set. You know what? I kinda want to, uh... I kinda want to use Thor again if I can, because you seem to have healing items. Uh, so I'm going to summon a couple more Jin and just have them do stuff. Uh, wrap you in Delusion. Oh yeah, that's a thing too, if that happens. Um, delusion is also good. That would make you miss once in a while. And I like it when you miss because that means you don't do damage to me. Alright, so 125 damage. Dodging the blow. And I think... So this is, a uh, Agility. I think... Let's see. I don't... I could probably kill without other the three Jupiter summon, but... Oh my god, I died! I didn't... I wanted to use Thor. I wanted to make a scene. And I died. Thanks, game. God love it when they when the game like proves the point of humility. Anyway, so that's that. And uh, Isaac, are you dead? Poke him. Poke him with a stick. See if he's dead. Isaac. Or you can just zap him with that uh, spark gen and... Oh, he's snoring. Okay. So he's just sleeping. I like, I like how that guy over there is still doing a silly little dance. Anyway. So I guess we just better let him take a nap on the stage of the thing. He must be exhausted, let's let him sleep for now. And when you come to, you will find yourself in this in place. By the way, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. If you win, uh, he'll he'll uh, collapse and then he'll apparently be sleeping because he is uh, fighting so hard anyway. And if you lose, well, you saw what happened. Anyway, there's that. Yeah, that ended long ago. We're wasting time, we're supposed to be saving the world. You fell into a deep sleep, don't you remember? No, I don't remember anything. I have amnesia. I don't like whatever. Anyhow. My foot's falling asleep. No, my foot. I don't want my foot. Ah. It's not as bad as it was. Ah. I take that back. My foot fell asleep. From brilliantly to the end, Babby was singing your praises. Okay. Yes. Angry face. It better be alright. I've been sleeping so long. Alright. Ah, oh, my foot. I have this, like, thing where my foot just... It's the way I sit. My posture is terrible. I end up sitting on my limbs. They fall asleep. Oh, my God! That, I moved my... Ah, oh, that hurts. I was hoping to never repeat that experience of having my foot fall asleep while I record stuff. Ow! <laughs> yeah, this is a... If you've ever had your limbs fall asleep and then you start to move them around, then you'll know how much it's not fun to do. Alright, so I'm gonna try and not move that. I'm gonna try and not move that foot for a little while and just focus on the game. Alright, let's go see Bobby. We're converging, but we're in Bobby's palaces like the infirmary sort of thing. And, um, alright, Bobby is up one of these stairs, I believe. No, not to back down the stairs. Controls. This room. This main room. Ow! Yeah. All right now, if I just so much as like think of my leg, it feels like it's full of sand. 
I've been waiting here because I wanted to speak with you. If I would stand up, am I gonna just fall right back down? Ah, almost. I'm kind of leaning on the on the on the armrest of this chair I'm sitting in right now. Uh, that my foot. No, it's distracting me. I'm supposed to be playing Golden Sun. The battles at Colossus were spectacular. I'm glad you think so. I died. The plug for my DS just fell out, and I really want to plug that back in because I've had this thing have its battery drain right in the middle of recording, and uh, that's not something I like to do again either. All right. So, incidentally, Isaac, are you feeling better now? I'm feeling very good, except for my foot being fallen to sleep. Yeah, the powers of youth and such fierce battles. Yeah, who could expect less from the warriors who rescued me? I guess, uh, I don't know. I guess that reflects somehow on our quest to save the world and stuff. Anyway, uh, let it be, idiom. Idiom. That's a completely different field. There are others who will judge a man. What is it that you said you were called? Um, uh, Adeps, I guess. Adeps. Garrett. Lightbulb. That's right, we shall explain it all. So we're going to be standing here and talking for a little while. We need to attempt to thank you and your companions for saving Bobby Isaac. Alright. <clears throat> but it would seem that gratitude is not enough. I have disclosed enough. Of, I, I have disclosed everything to Eudem. What do you mean by everything? You wish to learn more about Lumiria. Lemura. Yeah, I've been called it something completely different from her this whole time, haven't I? Yes, indeed. Your desire is as plain as day. Okay. I just have seen Synergy for the first time. It is an awesome power. Use my cloak ball to show him Synergy. No one else could see it, but I knew Isaac's tournament was uh, strange. Alright. I thought it was unlikely that you would fight using power. No need to be ashamed, Isaac. Synergy is uh, something that I couldn't read because I was too fast. Alright. When I first learned of your power, I was shocked. I thought you might be Lemurians. You have mentioned Lemurians many times. It is the, the city of an ancient people lying far out to sea. Interesting. So it's like Atlantis, right? Many years ago, there were about the time of the Great Flood, Bobby went to Lemura. I see. So the Great Flood struck while I was tra traveling with Lumpa. Lumpa, you mean Lumpa the Thief? I know it is hard to believe it happened a hundred years ago. Dang, you're old, and you're still alive and kicking? And you weren't exactly young a hundred years ago either. You're like, old enough to be traveling the world and sailing the seas and stuff. Creighton once mentioned the Stone of Sages. Do you think that's what did it? Okay. So the stone that grants immortality came from Lemura. Is that where the draft of everlasting life or whatever it is that I've been uh, getting for you is? So you've heard of the Stone of Sages. I'm afraid I don't have it. Alright. It is the draft of Lemura that has allowed me to live for so long. The draft of Lemura, you know, the stuff that I pulled out of the rocks and whatnot, is a magical draft that once taken, uh, that was once taken by those who lived in Lemura. And by just drinking that, stops you from aging. Is that what it does? Hmm. It would be more accurate to say that it slows the aging process. There is death in Lemura. But only when it comes to those whose senses have failed for centuries of use. Yeah, I really wouldn't want to live that long. If you're like so old that you all your senses have failed, like some people lose their hearing when they get old, some people lose their eyesight, some people uh, I don't know, uh, lose their sense of touch, I guess. I don't really know hearing and eyesight are the ones that usually you hear about going. But to have all of them go because they're that old, that would suck. Anyway, what have you been saying? I've been talking about getting old and I haven't been reading the text on the screen. There'd be no need for this research. Research? Not sure I understand. I had precious little drafts and now I'm running out. So, uh, okay. You saw it all. There was little left in the cave. How long will it last and, how, and what how will happen when it runs out? Ugh. It will run out any day now and when it does, my life is at its end. Oh no, death in a Nintendo game. Why don't you tell us sooner? We must hurry to Lumira. It's pointless. What on earth do you mean, pointless? Um, we cannot find Lumira. Yeah. It's, uh, you just said that it lies far out at sea. I thought you said it was lost far out at sea. If we search the seas, we'll find it. Nope, nope. I've spent, I've sent many ships in the past in search of Lumira. That must have been long before I joined you, but what still failed? 
I need more I need more draft. I'm just gonna call it draft because I don't feel like pronouncing that, but I couldn't find it. Huh. Why did you collapse in the cave if you still have more? I've been rationing it, but this time I waited too long between drinks. You're trying to make it last longer. Pinching my nose. My nose itches. That happens from time to time when I'm recording. You're trying to make it last longer. <clears throat> I overexerted myself trying to find Lemire before it ran out. And your reason for calling us here has to do with this? Yeah, exactly. I wanted you to find it. Alright. So, uh, another errand we have to do. I have not been able to locate it at sea, but perhaps air. Air? Alright. I, I can hide it no longer. I built the Bobby Lighthouse to see if I can find Lemire at sea. What? That's why you're building the lighthouse? No, there's more to it than that. We spotted something in the ocean southeast of the lighthouse, where Lemira should be. Interesting, this is really interesting. Something dangerous, no doubt. What, monsters? We can handle them. We've only beaten every boss in the game so far. That may be, however, something else troubles me more. What is it? No sailor has been able to keep his bearings at sea. This sounds like the Grand Line in One Piece. No kidding, you mean that they can't even keep a straight course? I believe the extre I believe the excuse for the Grand Line is like magnetic, uh, strong magnetic fields interfering with compasses and stuff, and then there's the log poses that are sort of immune to that effect. But ah, my nose is really itching. Should edit that out, but it's too late now. So how exactly did you get away from Lemira after the flood, Bobby? That is the thing. I crossed the sea in Lemira's ship. I was hoping that you could sail it. But why us, when you have such powerful soldiers at your disposal? None of them have the ability to use synergy. One must have synergy to sell the ship. Alright. Then that would mean Bobby's an adept, wouldn't it? Haven't we been through this already? That must be it. No normal person could use the cloak ball. I learned to use little synergy during my stat Lemira. Uh, with what little I'd learned, I was able to guide the ship. In that case, perhaps I could, I could sail the ship. No, no. Must be an adept. What should we do, Isaac? Will you do what he wants? If you do, I will grant you whatever you wish. Alright. <clears throat> you shouldn't make vows that you will later find you can't keep. I haven't even considered my own wishes lately. Yeah, I mean, we've been running errands for basically every NPC in Angara, and there's really no time to get on with anything. I mean, in that case, I could provide you with wealth of items you might like. Dabby's offer is very generous. You will consider going, won't you? Yeah, what's another distraction from saving the world? Isaac, you have to beat Felix in the other side of the lighthouse. What did I just tell you? The lighthouse? What lighthouse? You mean the Venus lighthouse? No, I mean the Bobby lighthouse. They're going to the top of the Bobby lighthouse and then they're gonna light a bonfire and it's, uh, I don't know. But we cannot get to the top of the Venus lighthouse, can we? Those at us may be able to solve the riddle of the blocks for us. The riddle of the blocks. Yay, that sounds ominous. Ah, I see. That thought hadn't occurred to me. Isaac, you should go to the Venus Lighthouse with Eodim. Okay. So, don't worry. You can take care of your business first. And, uh, I see. If they can solve the riddle of the lighthouse, then our own wishes will have been fulfilled. So, we can search for Lemura after they complete their own quest. Hmm. Is that acceptable? Ah, will you undertake this quest? I am so grateful. In that case, you will need assistance to reach the lighthouse. I will make preparations so that I am ready to leave at any time. I will, I will make... I will take my leave now to make preparations. Then you can all meet at the Gondolin Passage. That's a brilliant idea. One more thing, I'd like you to think about a suitable reward. Yes, I'll take care of that immediately as well. Alright. So I'll be waiting for you at the passage. And we're going to be going there. So, Bobby, uh, we now have our next errand, as I've been calling them. You shall take, you shall first take, your first task shall be the riddles of the, of the Venus Lighthouse. I'm counting on you, Isaac. All right. So uh, we've got to go to the Gondolin Passage, apparently. What's over here? This is, uh, this is, uh, exploring stuff. I don't really feel like the need to go and explore, explore all that much. There's nothing in the barrel. Um, no, don't go back down the stairs. Once again, I don't really like wasting time. There might be like a really good equip or something somewhere that I should be making use of, but uh, if not, 
if there is rather, my loss. Uh, I should be able to take care of the rest of the game, uh, pretty much just with my levels and my gin and stuff. Anyway, we're leaving Tulby, we don't have any more business here, although we might come back to say hi to whoever's in the castle later. And we're going to the Gondwan Passage! <laughs>